Call to order the September 8th meeting of the Long Beach Community College District uh, Board of Trustees. And I ask our uh, Vice President for Administrative Services, Anne Marie Gable, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Secretary, can we have the roll call? Irma Archuleta. Virginia Baxter. Here. Jeff Kellogg. Here. I mean, excuse me, Doug Otto. Here. And Sunny Zia. Here. So before we begin our meeting today, I just wanted to uh, acknowledge that this is a particularly sad day at Long Beach, the Long Beach Community College District because of the passing of uh, Professor Julian Delgadio. Uh, it was sudden. He was teaching classes at the time, not literally when he died, but uh, this semester. And uh, Julian was a beloved member of the Long Beach Community College District. And uh, there was a service uh, out at Rose Hill Memorial Park this afternoon. Uh, many of us attended. And uh, it's pretty hard to shake the feelings that, uh, that go along with someone who you're close to who's literally delivering services passing at the beginning of a semester. Um, students are being accommodated and taken care, care of, but uh, I think almost all of us have been thinking about this since the, the moment that it happened, and it's been pretty draining. So uh, what we've done is moved our closed session, which ordinarily precedes our open session, until after the uh, open session. So we'll be adjourning after the end of the open session uh, to a closed session. And then after that, there's a, uh, another uh, service uh, led by his wife. Um, that uh, many of us are gonna try and attend. So we're gonna try and get through this as quickly as possible, we'll giving everybody an opportunity to, to say anything that they want to. So uh, with that, um, agenda item 1.4, approval of minutes of the August 25th regular meeting of the Board of Trustees. I would first ask if there are any additions or corrections. If not, I would entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. So, Moved by Trustee Zia, seconded by Trustee Baxter. Uh, Madam Secretary, will you call the roll? Irma Archuleta? Aye. Virginia Baxter? Aye. Jeff Kellogg? Aye. Doug Otto? Aye. And Sunny Zia? Aye. Uh, agenda item 1.5, introductions and special announcements. Uh, I have one, and that is that uh, I see in our audience uh, a member of the Calif California Board of Governors, uh, Dr. Debbie Malumed, who is, I think this is your first meeting, at least in a very long time, so welcome, and uh, thanks for coming, Mr. President. Well, I know we will be introducing her later, but we have a former board member of the Long Beach Community College District, Ms. Pat Laughlin, is here. Yes, any, any other uh, introductions or special announcements? Uh, 1.6, reordering of the agenda. I don't think there are any requests to reorder the agenda. Um, uh, and now we have the ASB President's Report. Item 1.7. Here it comes. Welcome. Good evening, Super Superintendent President Oakley. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm in school mode right now. I was just reading some. I was reading some Plato, so I'm totally trying to switch back into it. Doug President, um, Doug Otto. Good evening, and the rest of the board members. I would like to um, first thank you guys on behalf of the ASB cabinet for attending our welcome back day. I heard it was a great success. Unfortunately, I was in class, so I wasn't able to attend the first half. I participated in the second half, and I would also like to thank. 
Sunny Zia for attending our first ASB cabinet meeting and answering questions of the new ASB cabinet members. Next, I would like to say that as of last Friday, we appointed our last appointed position that was vacant for our ASB cabinet, which is our rep of sustainability. So as of next week, we'll have all of our appointed positions, or as of this week, I'm sorry, we'll have all of our appointed positions filled. And we are also, we also acquired our uh, PCC and our LAC cultural affairs chairs um, within this past week. So we are almost at a complete cabinet. All we are missing is the Senate, the club Senate presidents. Um, with that being said, uh, this Friday, we will be having our ASB cabinet meeting at the Pacific Coast campus at 8 a.m. and we will be discussing campus safety. We will also be discussing um, the Barnes and Noble grant for the LAC campus, which will be used to purchase tangible items for the student body. And uh, we also approved the 2015-2016 ASB budget for this year. Thank you. Thank you so much for that uh, excellent report. Um, agenda item, um, 1.8, the public hearing on the proposed budget of the district of the year ending June 30th, 2016. This is a time set aside for the public to express its views on the 2015-2016 budget. Is there anyone who wants to make any comments? Going once, going twice. Uh, having heard no responses, I now declare the public hearing closed, and um, the and we will move on, and the budget will be considered later. Uh, public items on a but uh, public comments on agenda items. A total of three minutes uh, will be allotted to each speaker, uh, with a maximum of 20 minutes for each subject, unless time is extended by the board president. I don't think I've been given any. Uh, there are none. Is everybody sick? <laughs> no, everybody feels good. This is unprecedented. <laughs> okay. Uh, agenda item 2.1, resolution, support, quote, breaking through, lighting the way, exhibition and historical research project in Long Beach. And uh, Trustee Ar Arioleta is going to make some comments. I'm going to go up to the podium. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome, guest. Um, I have this afternoon the distinct pleasure of uh, presenting this special resolution on behalf of Long Beach City and on behalf of my colleague. Uh, and we present this resolution in support of ba Breaking Through um, Lighting the Way Exhibition and Historical Research, Pro Research Project in Long Beach that honors 12 outstanding women, three which have a special connection to Long Beach City College. So we want to acknowledge and recognize them for their outstanding achievements. So at this time, what I like to do is, I like to read the resolution, and then after that, uh, Carolyn, I'd like to invite you to come up to the podium to introduce the women, and then after that, uh, Pat, I know um, since you uh, were the first African-American woman to sit in my chair, the chair that I now have, it's your chair, um, I will ask you also if you can just come and say a few words, okay? All right, so resolution of the Board of Trustees of Long Beach Community College District to support Breaking Through Lighting the Way Exhibition and Historical Research Project in Long Beach. Whereas the exhibition Breaking Through Lighting the Way includes portraits, historical uh, photographs, documents, and artifacts that serve to honor and recognize contributions of 12 prominent African American women who made a major and positive difference in the city of Long Beach. And whereas the collection of historical profiles pays tribute to those who helped achieve progress in the racial history of Long Beach and Southern California, and whereas several of those honored have strong connection to Long Beach City College, including Bobby Smith, former Long Beach City College librarian and first African-American woman elected to public office in Long Beach, Patricia Laughlin, the first African-American member of the Long Beach uh, Community College District Board of Trustees, 
and Vera Malky and uh, Long Beach City College alumnus and first African American chief of staff in Long Beach history. And whereas the pioneering women of breaking through, lighting the way, serve as inspiration to all of the Long Beach residents, and whereas the exhibit will be a teaching tool to inform younger generations of the success and struggles of African American women in the civil rights era, and whereas breaking through, lighting the way, exhibit will be on display at the main Long Beach Library beginning September 29th, 2015, with various activities scheduled for September and October 2015, and now, and therefore it be resolved, that the Long Beach Community College District supports Breaking Through Lighting the Way, exhibit and extends its thanks and congratulations to the 12 <clears throat> women honored in this remarkable exhibition. Should, would you would you allow me to entertain a motion to approve this resolution in a second? Absolutely. And did you, were you making the the motion, Miss Trustee Archuleta? Yes. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Second by Trustee Zia. Uh, any discussion? Then, Madam. I I, well, I I just want to say something nice. <laughs> oh, no, that that's forbidden. We don't do that up here on this size. Uh, you must. Do. Go ahead. I, I did, as a historian and a resident of Long Beach, I want to applaud uh, Carolyn Smith Watts, who I think put this together, and salute you ladies, you very fine ladies, and congratulations. And I, I think this is long overdue. Thanks. Trustee Zia. Yes, I'd like to echo Trustee Baxter's remarks and welcome you. I think we missed a special introduction of Mother Doris, who's here tonight as well. So thank you for being here. It's just such an honor. I hope to be following your footsteps, ladies. And um, we have a long way to go. And I hope we can do meaningful, um, have more meaningful resolutions um, like, such as this one and more, do more uh, in this regard to support our African-American students and um, beyond. So thank you so much for the hard work and for paving the way for us. Yes, Jeff okay. Kellogg. Just very quickly and, and obviously uh, as well, congratulations to everyone. It's very interesting to see here, um, mentioning individuals, Debbie's here and of course her, Alan Lowenthal's and her involvement with the city. Uh, Tonya, who I was walking around, she has a camera somewhere, with her involvement with city uh, council and obviously her husband with this board and now the council. And it was, I would work across, and uh, Doris has more stories about me, and uh, which I think is either good or bad. But uh, because I went to school with one of her sons uh, a long time ago in a far off world, I think. But um, great memories of all these individuals, and, and the fact is they're, they have made such a tremendous. Uh, contribution to the city of Long Beach in their own way and uh, and making the city a better a better place and uh, so I'm very proud obviously to support the resolution but also to see a lot of friends in the audience who have uh, meant a lot to me during my years in the city and also having the opportunity to serve with some of these wonderful people over the course of my career and we have some great memories very positive um, and uh, not to just tell war stories here like, like an old football player, but um, all good stories. The only thing that I probably would question is, Pat, when you talked about when you used to sit in this chair, you weren't sitting in these chairs. These are comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> the chairs that, yes, so noted for most people that may or may not know before we had this room, uh, we were like a glorified um, uh, youth baseball board of directors, we'd, we'd borrow the foundation, we'd have those wooden chairs that were not comfortable to sit in. Uh, so um, yeah, it's a little bit different than back in the day, but what hasn't changed is the quality of people this city has and the input people have had on everyone. And so I appreciate all of the work all of you have done and also how you've been supportive of me in all those years and uh, also great friendship. So congratulations. Thank you, Mr. President. There is a resolution on the floor. If there are no other comments at this time, uh, I would ask the secretary to call the roll. Irma Archuleta. Aye. Virginia Baxter. Aye. Jeff Kellogg. Aye. Doug Otto. Aye. Sunny Zia. Aye. The um, motion to pass the resolution passes unanimously. And uh, so, go ahead, um, Carolyn. This 
point, um, we're also going to ask a representative from Roberto Uranga's uh, office to say a few words so quickly. Sure. Um, good evening, Honorable Chair uh, Doug Otto and Honorable Trustees. My name is Jessica Chetswing, and I'm here on behalf of Councilmember Roberto Uranga, who is unable to be here this evening due to his responsibilities as a member of the California Coastal Commission. I'm here to speak in support of the resolution and thank you for taking the time to recognize this extraordinary accomplishment of these 12 women. The Breaking Through Lighting the Way event later this month is a tribute to women who have made a difference in the history of Long Beach. Women like Bobby Smith, Patricia Loughlin, Vera Mokley all have shaped the history of Long Beach City College. We will be honoring these women at our council meeting in a couple of weeks, but as a council member and a formal member of the board, he wanted to take the time to thank you all for personally, personally for recognizing this event. Thank you also to Carolyn Smith Watts for your leadership. I also know that several of the honorees um, are here today. So thank you for being here and thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Go ahead. What? Good afternoon, Superintendent Oakley and President, Trustee Board members. You know, what a great opportunity, what a great journey this has been for the last six or seven years, but for the last 12 months for sure. Out of the 12 African-American women, we do have Carrie Bryant, Dale Clinton, Alta Cook, Macy Harrington, Evelyn Knight, Pat Laughlin, Vera Mulkey, Wilma Powell, Atrilla Scott, Bobby Smith, Doris Topsy Air Ward, and Lily Mae Wesley. Unfortunately, out of the 12, we've lost two already, which was to Miss Scott and to Miss Wesley. But we're very fortunate to still have 10 with us. And we're excited of the fact that the three, the, the six or five that are with us today, we have Alta Cook, who actually was an um, instructor here at City College. So she taught her many years ago. Of course, our former um, first African American Harbor Commissioner, Doris Topsy Overward, and for vi former Vice Mayor of the City of Long Beach, Pat Laughlin, who you know. And Evelyn Knight um, is a phenomenal, as trailblazed through Martin Luther King, March with him, and the work that she's done in this city has been phenomenal and our own Vera Mulkey, who did graduate from City College as an alumnus. But more importantly, just to remember, the history that they bring to this city is 711 years they've contributed to this city. They have traveled 19,655 miles from seven states, and collectively 230 years of educational of their career. So the journey that they have been able to um, embark on us in reference to open up their homes and share of their, their personal artifacts, their personal stories, is nothing but for us to fall afresh upon the information that they share. And on behalf, we really appreciate Sonny Nash, who's my co-creator and my curator who's unable to be here, along with all of our supporters. We appreciate Long Beach City College being part of our partners and our donors, and also to your wonderful staff, Luann Bynum, who's been working with us, and also John Polk, who has been a phenomenally um, great part in this. So thank you so much on behalf of Breaking Through the Light of the Way, our sponsors and everyone else, and to these ladies. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Pat, uh, Ms. Laughlin, can you? <clears throat> well, as a citizen, I stand here. <laughs> uh, this is quite different from when I was here, but I'm delighted to be back here, see familiar faces. Everybody looks beautiful. So, um, but those of us that are here, not only do we represent the ladies that are not here of the 12, there were many African-American women that stood before us, and we stand on their shoulders. Uh, had it not been for them, the Mrs. Bushes, Dr. Hayes, I can't think of the names because I wasn't prepared to speak, but I would have called as many of them as I know. Um, and it's unfortunate that we have to promote our own history. I, I really feel that. And I hope you guys are doing better at City College and promoting the true history of everybody that's contributed uh, to make this city uh, a better place, um, a more inclusive place. And um, it's just good. It's just good. And I am delighted to stand before you. So I'll say thank you on behalf of my fellow awardees and all the other women that has contributed 
and not gotten recognition. Thank you. Superintendent Oakley, could you come and take a picture with the women? So I, I think we're all going to be involved okay. in this picture. Yeah. All Eloy, the ladies. Eloy owes me one with just he and I. Oh. <laughs> you want us to come down here too? I would just like to say a few words about Jeff Kellogg. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know, at the risk of uh, invoking your, uh, your former profession, Mother Doris, uh, I have to tell Mr. Kellogg that he has a right to remain silent, uh, that anything he, he says can, will, and of course, certainly will be used against him. And yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I would, just like to, I would just like to thank Jeff Kellogg because he was the first person to announce that I had won the city council seat. He was with me the night I won and Pam, his wife, started having pains. So he took her home and came back to be with me and then he went in a phone booth and came out and said, we now have a new city council person. Jeff, I wanna thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, I Pam had pain because she was pregnant, not because she was at your event. It was. Uh... So, Bobby, why don't you come on up here with uh, these other ladies? Oh! What about a perfect time then? Do you know it has been 20 plus years that I retired from Long Beach City College? And can you imagine how many new buildings there are? <laughs> and how many times you have changed and moved. So we've been wandering around for about, about 30 minutes, I would say. We were, we were here in plenty of time. We went over to the, to the old foundation office where you were, Jenny, when I left. 
So Sorry. Dale and I finally made it, and, and we're grateful, and, yeah. and thank so, you yeah. so very much for this, this honor today. Yeah, and I apologize. You, I you, should have you're, looked you're more doing. closely at no, directions. We're, we're, we're delighted that you made it. Uh, congratulations to everyone. Vera, I remember when you were chief of staff. Evelyn, we served on task forces together. Pat, I think you were on the board when uh, I was suing you and representing uh, uh, <laughs> Barbara Adams. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we go, Doris and I go way back to uh, midnight basketball. We do. And uh, Ms. Cook, Alta Cook, uh, you were the principal first at Hill when I first met you before you went on to Jordan. And uh, it's, a great, uh, it's a great legacy in, uh, in Long Beach. And congratulations to all of you. We're looking forward to the exhibition box. Thank you. Everybody. Besides the fact we've all had these memories and it's so nice to start a meeting on a positive, but I was reminded about uh, a memory I also had. I don't know how positive, being stuck in an elevator for an hour with one of these ladies. <laughs> it's, it came up and I said, I go, oh my God, that's right. So um, that was uh, a, a lot of parts of uh, Long Beach history though, is really, you're all been very- Can been we get a, a picture of that? Of you know, I don't even know how we got out of there finally. And if I panicked, I apologize. I was probably the one that was concerned, but uh, no. It's, it's great to see so many of you here. A lot of great memories, and great. thank you for those. Okay, we are moving on to agenda item 2.2, the approval of the 2016 calendar of board meetings. Can I entertain a motion? So moved. Second. Moved by? Trustee Kellogg, seconded by Trustee Archuleta. Um, any discussion? All in favor, oops, can't do that anymore. Ms. Secretary, you call the roll. Archuleta? Aye. Virginia Baxter? Aye. Jeff Kellogg? Aye. Doug Otto? Aye. Sunny Zia? Aye. And hold on. Uh, passes uh, unanimously, and I am, we are moving on to agenda item to the consent calendar, and uh, any item may be removed from the consent calendar and considered separately. If a member of the Board of Trustees so requests, we have requests to pull 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, Three twelve, three thirteen, three fourteen, and uh, no. Did I say three eight ten? Yeah, I think I got them. Eight ten and eight ten and eleven, as well as well as fourteen. So, other than those numbers, um, uh, is there any other? Does anyone else want to pull any uh, consent calendar items? If not, I would entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Moved by Trustee Archuleta, Second. seconded by Trustee Baxter. I believe I made the motion, uh, President Otto. Pardon? I, I oh. made the motion. Okay. Uh, so, um, any discussion? Are you Just to repeat the motion. Sunny Zia made the motion, and the second is Baxter? Yes. Correct. Okay. And this is to approve the remaining consent calendar items. Right. All um, two of them. Jeff, you're no longer the chairman. Just, that was a parliamentarian <laughs> question. And that was a joke. <laughs> All in favor, can we have the roll call, please? Irma Archuleta? Aye. Virginia Baxter? Aye. Jeff Kellogg? Aye. Doug Otto? Aye. Sunny Zia? Aye. Okay. So, the first one is 3.8, is that correct? That's correct. This is uh, concerning the ratification of contracts under uh, $175,000, and so, Trustee Zia, you wanted to pull this. Yes, uh, President Otto, thank you. Um, I'd like to uh, understand and see if any of these expenditures that are listed uh, were um, single sourced or not competitively procured. That's one question I have. I have a couple other questions on that. Can Vice President. Uh, I would ask uh, Vice President Gable if 
uh, she knows uh, off the top of her head um, the answer to that question. Uh, yes, I do. So the first item that's listed for the Board of Governors California Community College Chancellor's Office um,